Hi, welcome to the second tutorial on cross collection. Today we're going to look at how to search and manage your media. Let's look at how to use the search field and sort tracks. The first thing I'm going to do is go to the media view in order to be able to search more comfortably. The search tool of cross operates much like the search tool on iTunes. Simply type in a name you're looking for and the results will come up. However, Mixvibes has improved this tool by adding new possibilities of searches. Basically what you can do here is add more criteria to the search in order to get better results. To reset the default criteria, simply press on default. Now let's look at a different way of managing your media by sorting it. This function is a simple sorting tool which sorts each column from the lowest value to the largest one. Each column represents a criteria which is sortable. For example, let's sort the color criteria. You can use all of these criteria in our powerful search tool called the column browser. We'll look at this tool in the next section. You can choose which column you'd like to display by right clicking on them. But also you can rearrange them the way you want by dragging and dropping them in the order that you wish. Now, let's look at the new search tools available in Cross Collection. First, the column browser. To open the column browser, press on the icon left of the search field. This tool is a multi-criteria advanced search tool. It allows you to cross-search data using three different criteria. And all of these criteria are flexible. You can choose upon them if you right-click on the title bar. Here, for example, I'm looking for French touch music of high quality with a BPM between 120 and 130. This search tool has amazing possibilities for fine-tuning your researches. The next new tool that Makes Vibes is bringing to you is the album browser. Right-click on the album browser icon next to the search field. This tool allows you to visualize all of the artworks of your media. Simply shuffle through them using the scroll bar. This is great for DJs that have a photographic memory of their music, and also people who like to keep their music very well organized with all the artworks. In the third part of this tutorial, we're going to look at playlists and smart lists. Let's start with the playlists. Playlists are found in the tree view underneath the music folder. To open them, click on the arrow next to playlists. Here I've created a playlist. As you can see, all of the media information is displayed. Now I'm going to show you how to export a playlist from iTunes. Go to your iTunes icon from the dock, select the playlist and right click on it. Then check export playlist. That playlist is now displayed in the playlist folder in the tree view. Now, to add an individual track to a playlist, right click on it and select add to playlist. Here I've selected add to new playlist, which means that I'm creating a new playlist. Type in a new name and there it is. Another great feature about playlists is that you can organize them like individual folders or media. Basically, you can create folders and subfolders of playlists to organize them better. This function is extremely helpful for professional DJs who need to keep their music well organized for events or professional performances. This last function is available as well for smart lists. Now let's look at the smart lists. Smart lists are found in the tree view underneath playlists. They are automated multi-criteria playlists. This means that they display media that matched a certain predefined criteria. Smart lists are automatically refreshed as soon as newly imported songs match those criteria. Here I'm showing you an example of a smart list that I've created myself. You can actually customize all of the criteria of a smart list. The number of tracks, the fact that it's automatically refreshed or not, the type of criteria, if criteria need to be all matched or just one of them. This is a fantastic tool for DJs who want to have playlists matching a very specific type of criteria. Now let's look at the flexible dock and the prepare tab. Mixvibes has developed a flexible dock, which allows you to rearrange all of the icons the way you want them. You can choose which one you want to see by right clicking on them and checking the ones you want to see. Even better, you can now drag and drop playlists directly on the dock. Thanks to that, you have direct access to these playlists and you'll be able to mix them faster. To remove playlists from the flexible dock, you can either right click on it and uncheck them or drag and drop them away from the dock. Finally, we're going to learn about the prepare tab on the dock. The prepare tab is kind of used like a playlist. Basically, you can add music to the prepare tab by dragging and dropping media onto it 
or right-clicking on a media and selecting Add to Prepare, you use this tool to prepare for a mix. The difference between this and a playlist is that tracks are removed from this list once they have been played, after five tracks have been played on top of them. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information, go to www.mixvibes.com.